Small kind of steam is rising from the Sundunka crater areas in the Reckoners Peninsula of Iceland. Iceland is a relatively big country. Only a small part of it is actually involved in this volcanic activity, so there is no concern for the safety of tourists who go to the country. Even uh, some people have been to the town of the Grindavik themselves because it was on the way of the uh, you know, Blue Lagoon. In the Sunuka crater area now, which is here, I marked it, we have now increased the level of the steam and probably smoke uh, from the baking of the older lava, which erupted in the January and the December uh, is now visible. We can see it here now. It can be anything. One of the reasons can be that the magma is under it, is heating it up. Uh, I have a video about it previously, which shows that the level of the magma at different locations, it is a magma reservoir on the Swartzengi Blue Lagoon area. And uh, when that reservoir gets filled up, uh, it uh, tra can transfer like a tap, as Professor uh, Torvaldo Todotson has suggested, into the adjacent area, like a tap opening, goes horizontally through a seal and reaches the Sunuka crater areas and rises through the dike. These are fault lines in the rift valley. Uh, in a different note, I just want to talk about the historical connections between the Vikings and Icelandic people who are original from there, and the people on, in Iran and the uh, Caspian Sea region. Uh, when you go there, you know that in the 10th century, uh, Vikings actually were in that region. And there are typical rock carvings uh, of the Viking cultures in that region. You can find it in the Caspian Sea region, in Iran, in Azerbaijan, and uh, in Armenia and the Dagestan of the Russia. All those areas, uh, we have this marking. This shows the Vikings were there. And uh, we have similar ones, but a little bit renovated uh, and added a little bit of okra, red okra, just to make them stand out against the background. In the Sweden, for example, which is a Nordic country, and similar areas all across uh, the Nordic uh, people's land. Uh, so, surprisingly enough, when the uh, Vikings were in that region, our modern historians call it Caspian Sea expeditions. Well, when the uh, Azari people of Iran or Turkish people of the Ottoman Empire who were in the Iceland in the 17th, 16th century, they were calling that the Turkish abductions. It's, it's a little bit amusing how, how we see these things differently. When I listen to Icelandic language, it sounds very similar to the old Turkish that is spoken in the in the Iranian, by the Iranian Azari people. And at the same time, many of the names I see among the Icelandic people sound to me Turkish. Anyway, this is something for the historians and linguists to actually discuss and uh, further explore. This is just an assessment based on hearing both of the dialects and languages and listening to them.